to all my brothers and sisters out there in the world. This is your boy Jehoshaphat. And I just had my thought for today, black power, black peace, black unity, black love, black united, black power, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Get some pride for your people. Get some love for your people. You know what I'm saying? This hatred, you know what I'm saying? Okay, it was infested in us. Okay, it was put on us. But it's your, it's your decision you making if you're going to give into it or not. You know what I'm saying? You black woman, you black man, will you feed into it? Will you feed into this that was given to you before you was even born and carried into the future? You know what I'm saying? Will you carry this mentality for the next 30 years? Because you've seen for the last 60 years that it has got us nowhere and it has not improved no facet of any of our lives. So I ask you, black woman, I ask you, black man, the hatred that you carry for yourself or the, the hatred that you carry for each other, is it worth it? Is it worth this this hate that was that was seated inside of it? Is it worth our very destruction as a people on the face of the earth? You know what I'm saying? Because as you look, as you slowly look at it, we slowly tearing each other apart. Are you proud of it? Does it make you feel better about yourself? You know what I'm saying? Do you get a kick out of destroying your own people? You know what I'm saying? That's the most savagest thing that I have ever heard in my life. You know what I'm saying? Getting a kick out of destroying your own damn people. But let me come up here for what I want to talk about for today. Now, a lot of different people say that um, I'm anti-American. But if you heard some of the things that I talk about on my show, I deeply care about my people and I deeply care about where we live at. So in fear of my nation falling and my people being destroyed, I have to voice my concerns. Isn't that my isn't that my God given right? You know what I'm saying? To love my people and love where I come from. Is that not my God given right? But I'm here today to tell my people it's a civil war in the brewing. It really is. It is a civil war in the brewing and it's brewing up right now and it's festering up and it's coming. There's no way that this country can avoid it. Now, okay, Trump, he can get up he can get up here and he can try to change some things that are try to stop God's wrath, but then the different things that was put first, all I can say is God bless him. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully he can work and try to change it, change some stuff back to get out of God's anger. You know what I'm saying? That's why he was elected as our president, because I'm telling you. America knows messing up. You know what I'm saying? With all the different policies that it's, it's signed, it went against God's word, the most high. It went against God's word, period. You know what I'm saying? So they had to pick somebody to put all them pieces back so it, it, we don't provoke his hand anymore. Y'all hear me saying that all the time, but y'all don't understand. Now, in, in God's, the most high's holy word, it's a current theme. And the theme is, and y'all hear me talk about this all the time, because in fear of my nation, I see it's coming. You know what I'm saying? God will take a people who is nothing and will raise them up just to destroy another group of people. You know what I'm saying? So look at America. Look at the people who live in America. Look at the people from the bottom who is being raised to the top. You know what I'm saying? God will select a certain group of people to get his point across. You know what I'm saying? So my prediction, I see us being forced in civil, civil, another civil war. But this civil war is going to determine who is actually the ruler of America. I can't put it in no, in no other way than that. You know what I'm saying? So in fear of this happening, you know they had to put up Trump so he can be like they George Washington to lead them into battle. You know what I'm saying? They fist to go to battle. So I'm here today to tell all my, my black people of America, stay out of this one. You know what I'm saying? Just like we sat down on this election and it, we didn't really come out and vote in numbers and whatnot. I want you to do the same thing on this civil war. Stay out of it. If if you in a state, right, and it's heavily, it's heavily surrounded by people that's against America, you need to get out. Straight up. I'm telling you that like that right now. Black man, black woman, sit yourself down off of this civil war. We don't have to be involved. This is not over us. You know what I'm saying? This war that's for to be coming and all these lies that's for to be lost and all this blood that's for to be shed. It's inevitable. It talks. That's why y'all hear me talk about the Bible so much, because in God's word, he gives us the pathway of what's going to happen. Now, listen to what I'm saying to y'all. God will raise up a people 
to destroy another people or discipline those other people. So look at the people who live here in America. God is going to raise up some of these people, you know what I'm saying, to destroy another people. You know what I'm saying? It, it can't be the ones that's in power. Those are the ones that's fit to be disciplined or utterly destroyed. So I ask my brothers and sisters out there, if you love your people, if you care for your people, stay out of the civil war. I mean that, you know what I'm saying? We don't have no part in this at all. It don't have nothing to do with us. It, it, we didn't we didn't start it, you know what I'm saying? We didn't push it to the, the breaking point. We ain't did none of that, you know what I'm saying? So I'm telling y'all, you know what I'm saying? Stay out of this one. Sit down this one. If you live in the state and you see that martial law has came in and you see the army being poured in, get out. You know what I'm saying? Don't let these people force you into a battle that's not yours. This is not our fight to fight, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we're the children of slaves You know what I'm saying We're the descendants of slaves You know what I'm saying So if anything We need to be working on ourselves To pick our own selves up And be united Don't be tripping off of What you see happening in this country Because I'm telling you It has nothing to do with us This is your boy Jehoshaphat With my thought for today Please my brothers and sisters Consider the things that I have told you in this instant in time because for what I see is things to come I'm not classifying myself as oh he know this and he know that just just look at me as somebody that could see down the street you know what I'm saying and I don't need no fucking binoculars to see what's coming you know what I'm saying so I ask my brothers and sisters out there stay out of this one if you in a state and you see that it's, it's havoc and it's gonna be war in the state you live in get out Get as far away from there as you possibly can and surround yourself with your brothers and sisters. This is your boy Jehoshaphat with my thought for today and I will follow up on this if they allow me to because I can only do so much y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm res I have so much restrictions up over here. It's a shame. You know what I'm saying? I'm surprised I'm still here now. But uh, peace and blessings to all the people of the world. Black power, black pride, black love, black unity. This is your boy Jehoshaphat. I'm out.